Now let's talk about the maximum work obtainable or availability in a non-flow process. Now non-flow process are linked to closed systems. All right. So let's assume or let us consider a closed system. Okay. And denotes it denote its initial state by parameters without any subscript and the final state with a subscript zero. Now, uh, if you remember the maximum work or the maximum useful work obtainable from a closed system, okay, then the value of variability would be W U max for a closed system. This would become equal to E minus E naught. Okay, plus P into V minus V naught minus T naught into S minus S naught, where these parameters are the parameters of the initial state and the naught parameters are the parameters of the final state. All right, that is the dead state. Now, if you write down the value of E over here. Okay, so this would become U plus MV square by 2 plus MG into Z minus this E naught. Okay, this is U naught. Now there is no velocity at dead state. So this will be only plus MG z naught all right and the rest would be same p naught into v minus v naught which indicates the work done on the atmosphere to expand it minus t naught into s minus s naught okay now if i neglect the potential energy and the kinetic energy changes and i take it for unit mass so this would become zero isn't it uh, this would become zero and this would also become zero and i take it for unit mass for unit mass the availability becomes small a and this becomes the uh, you know difference of small values of u plus i'll have small p naught into v minus v naught minus t naught into s minus s naught all right now let's combine these terms that is Let's combine u plus p naught v minus t naught s minus u naught plus p naught v naught minus t naught s naught. Okay. Now this and this, if you remember, is a term called the availability function of a closed system. So this is phi minus phi naught so this is what availability is for a closed system having a non-flow process okay now if the system undergoes a change of state from one to two okay then like in the uh, in a steady flow process you had so the availability would become phi minus phi naught minus phi two minus phi naught Okay, so this will still be equal to phi 1 minus phi naught. So this is how you can find out the maximum useful work obtainable under the given surroundings. Now, I hope you understood this concept. Now in the next video, we start with the concept of irreversibility and Gaia-Stadola theorem.